Hi there, everybody. It's Krista here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, if you don't know your Moon and Rising sign, check the description box for a link to Always Astrology. And that way you can get a snapshot of your whole chart. And that way, if for any reason this doesn't resonate with you this week, Taurus, you can always check out your Moon and Rising sign readings for the week. See if that helps. That being said, I do hope that this appeals to you and it resonates with you, my dear Taurus. So this is for the week of May 23rd to the 29th. I'll be doing the same tarot spread as I did last week with the same deck. I got a lot of really good feedback on that. So I think I'll stick to that for now. I'll be using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck for the main spread and then drawing two additional cards from one from each deck from the Medicine card Tarot and the Healing of the Angels Tarot. There's links in the description box as well to the cards that I'm using as well as to my book and um, more about why I do what I do. So Taurus, I wish for you all success, joy, and wellness. I invoke spirits of love, light, and beauty. I call upon Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Metatron, and Uriel to please bless this reading and guide it in peace, clarity, protection, and wisdom. I ask that Mother Gaia bless this reading for Taurus as well. So, so for Taurus, we have in your central position, which represents you, we have the card Unfinished Symphony. This could have to do directly with the arts, but I do believe that it also has to do with anything that you personally find artistic in your own life, anything that you've put your own flavor or personality into, whether or not it's in the art world, so to speak. And because this is a general reading, I encourage all Taurians to apply the messages here to whatever is most prominent in your life. Say there's a health or travel or business issue this week, take the messages here and apply it to what's currently happening most prominently in your life, and I hope that that's helpful for you. So, like I said, in the Unfinished Symphony, it could be a DIY, um, do it your, yeah, DIY project. Um, you know, an Unfinished Symphony is another way to put, to state, oh, there's something that you were supposed to complete <laughs> or that you put off for whatever reason that really needs to be paid attention to this week or it's calling for you or it's really irritating. Um, but there's something that's not complete here. Um, and like I said, I, it, it is the card and the story is about the arts, but certainly whatever you find artistic and pleasing uh, could be about your home or the way that you decorate, for example. Perhaps the decoration isn't complete or it, it remains unfinished for the time being. But like I said, because this is for the week of May 23rd to the 29th, I think this is something that's going to be situated through the week. It's just something that's kind of irritating you here. And the just coming out of or recent past energy, we have regeneration. This means that something had to end in order for you to move forward. And again, in a general sense, um, this uh, something, a door or a window closed, right, in order for you to move forward. But like I said, because the Unfinished Symphony, something still undone, follows this. Something needs paying attention to. Something is feeling as though it's in the way. It's almost like, you know, like sand, um, like sand in your cream or sand in the ointment type thing. It's like, well, you still have the ointment and there's good memories of the beach, but you don't want to mix those two. Um, so maybe that's all it is here. There's a sense of maybe one foot in the past, one foot in the present, right? And and you, it's time to close that door for yourself or, you know, let that go. Um, reminiscing is one thing. That's, that's always lovely. No one's going to pick on you for reminiscing. But um, I, I would 
warn against ruminating, right, Taurus? Um, rumination is really about digging deep on purpose just to sift through facts that sometimes have been forgotten or already healed. Um, so if there is an emotional sense of picking a scab, <laughs> so to speak, um, I think it's time to let that heal, okay, um, Taurus. And uh, if for any reason that is your sense of the unfinished symphony this week, I think it's safe to say that you can put that to rest. That, that the concept of living with one foot in the past and one foot in the present is, um, is causing this feeling or the sense or attitude of an unfinished something, right? I mean, it's, let's be fair. First of all, no one um, with one foot in the past and one foot in the present is going to feel like they're fully in the present. So it's, if this is where you need to be for your own reasons, by all means, do that, okay? But if you feel more as though you want this settled. You want the unfinished symphony settled. I would say gently, gen always gently, right? Gently say goodbye to that old. Say goodbye to what has passed or is gone that got you to this place. It doesn't serve you anymore. And just quickly before I show the cards up close to the camera with you here, we have in your conscious or external influences the card Time to Go. This is an action card. It could be mental, emotional, psychological, or physical. Uh, again, like I said, Taurus, whatever is most prominent for you this week, however you want to apply that, but the, but the terminology is Time to Go, so it's time to, you know what I'm saying, time to close that door. It's time to get that foot out of the past. Um, and, and listen, I know, uh, I know what it feels like to cling to something. I know what it feels like to not want to let go. You might even feel, for example, Taurus, that if you do let go or if you do move on somehow, it's, um, a kind of, uh, betrayal, right? Uh, to you or the other, um, whomever that person or place or concept is. Um, if that's true, there's nothing saying that's not true, okay? Um, if that's true, and, and Torian's, uh, I don't see it because you're the, the personality type, that the personality characteristics are too pleasant. Uh, for there to be an outright betrayal here. So I'm going to suggest that it's a feeling. If that's the case, that it's that that's a feeling and know that person or place or concept isn't going to be let down. Whoever else is involved here, if that's the case, is not going to be upset or feel betrayed if that's what's going on here, okay, Taurus? So the time to go, like I said, foot in the past, not serving you. Time to go, I think you're aware of this. And like I said, if there's any feeling, residual feeling around um, betrayal or letting someone down or forgetting the past, and if you forget the past, you 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 know you doom repeating yourself. We well, you don't have to forget it, right? You don't have to do that. What you do is you have to you know release it with love, acknowledge it, okay? Acknowledge it. Look it in the eye, whatever that is means to you this week, Taurus, and then say, you know what? You were there when I needed you. You were whatever when I needed you or um, however that plays out in your world this week, Taurus. And you can safely let it go because it's time is it's time is over. And in the internal or subconscious position, Taurus, you have the card breathe. I think you're um, hopefully becoming more and more aware this week at how much you need to be still and rest. And I say this with certainty because the probable outcome card is time for a nap. You've been stressed. Something's been very, there is a lot of action, a lot of decisions, a lot of uh, movement, a lot of, there's a slight clinging to a past um, and, and a little bit difficult to find your way into the present. 
So I'm going to suggest that the way to do that, Spirit is seeing through the cards this week for you, Taurus, that the way to do that, if you want to solve that, being your unfinished symphony, like where do you stand and what is pleasant and beautiful around you, what is your art project that you're willing to finish, that in order to do that this week, Taurus, I would say don't. <laughs> or if you do, um, sort of piddle paddle away at it, right? Uh, or pitter patter. I, I think that's the term. Pitter patter away at it. Do a little bit here and a little bit there. Because listen, subconsciously and the probable outcome is breathe and time for a nap. Two of the biggest rest cards, right? Rest, relaxation cards in the whole deck. You might even be doing yourself a disservice by putting so much energy and thought um, into the process that you had to let go of. Uh, or be stuck in it or um, it's taking up so much energy and emotion um, that you're just becoming aware or um, I'm asking that you do become aware of the deep requirement for rest and relaxation this week, Taurus. So I'm going to look at these with you up close for just a moment each. Like I said, we have the Unfinished Symphony. She is a musician. Like there's like music notes. There's a piano. She's got a violin. She's in a jester outfit. This is the card of the arts. But like I said, the arts does mean anything that you find pleasant or bountiful or beautiful in your own life. If this isn't a DIY project or an actual art project, meaning... Um, <laughs> literature, painting, sculpting, music, advertising, um, etc. So all any part singing, all parts of the arts. If that's not specifically what's going on with you this week, Taurus, I'm going to suggest that the Unfinished Symphony is about a DIY project or something that you've still um, even if it's home decoration, for example, or things about your own body, yourself, your wardrobe, you know, you're looking for that last piece of you know, that last piece of the outfit, for example, with with one foot still in the past here. And I don't think it'll be a big project. I don't think it's over. The project itself is overwhelming. I think that because all this has gone on together and it's very closely linked together, the time to go and the regeneration, these are endings, right? In order to regenerate, for example, something had to end, something had to break, um, you can see this beautiful tree growing up out of the ground, this this um, lava coal. Um, and it's a beautiful event here, right? We have new life, this regeneration, something growing out of something that closed. But what happened here is something had to stop first. Something had to break open. The seed has to break open in order for there to be life here. So if, like I said, if there is a foot in the past, um, be gentle with yourself at all times, but certainly this week, Taurus, um, as you learn to let go, right? As, as you say, time to go to that past, no no guilt, right? No, um, I should have. No shoulds this week, Taurus, if you can help it. Like I said, anyone that you are walking from or who, um, if you did something for your own reasons this week, and you feel like, oh, I did that for myself, but I betrayed someone else or I let them down. I just don't think that they feel the same way. I think you might be a little bit too hard on yourself this week about that. So please, if you can, let that go. Be gentle with yourself. And then at the internal or subconscious card, look at this, the breathe card. Your subconscious recognizes so deeply the requirement. It's requesting, in fact, Taurus this week. Because this was so busy, this is so much going on, okay? Um, and, and particularly with the Unfinished Symphony, this sense of, I gotta do it, I gotta do it now. It's urgent, this sense of urgency here. No, I think, um, again, unless this is a life or death situation, I would say, breathe, slow down. Not just go to bed, close your eyes, and have a good sleep, but relax. Let yourself relax. It's essential to healing, first of all. The relaxation process is essential, okay, to healing. And if you're coming out of something deep 
or um, full of energy or action or contemplation uh, that took a lot out of you. I think more than anything this week, to be fair to yourself and loving to yourself, it's it's the week of uh, breathing and relaxation. One thing I do like to suggest to someone with um, a lot of rest and breathe cards is to breathe deeply three times and just feel your body relax. Um, I'll do it with you. So we're gonna breathe in. That's one and then one more. You can already start to feel your body relax a bit and just one more. Oh, and you might even release with a sound and just feel your shoulders relax a little. Your breathing's a little bit more steady. That took eight seconds. And it lets your body know that you can relax no matter what you still have to do, no matter uh, these feelings that you have, that it's okay to relax. So again, with your probable outcome card, time for a nap. I mean, there's no interpreting this. This little fox is literally having a nap on the moon. It's a golden sky. This is a golden moment for you. It could even be the key to good health and mental well-being. So again, it is clear that something is still um, ongoing or not fully complete, but there's no urgency here, okay, Taurus? None. In fact, I would even suggest that the urgency, if any at all, is to slow down. <laughs> relax <laughs> that might be the most urgent thing for you this week is to just sit still sit still and enjoy you don't have to figure anything out you don't have to contemplate anything there's nothing to solve you can pitter patter away at this Okay, and then as an additional message, we have the turkey. Turkey's keyword is giveaway. This could be completely related to a sense of you're walking away from something, you had to give something away, or you're literally giving um, possessions away. But I'm going to suggest, if that's not exactly what's going on in your week, I'm going to suggest giveaway here is the stress. Give away the tension, okay? It's not serving you. This is about service. What doesn't serve you? Well, stress, worry, feelings of guilt or betrayal. And God forbid that be the case. Like I said, I just don't see it here. But um, it's time to give yourself some time and peace and love and joy. And your own wellness, you've been giving it to everybody else, right? Don't you need it too? Of course you do. Taurus, my wish for you this week is for you to treat yourself as beautifully as you treat other people, okay? Remember that you're just as important as all the loved ones in your own life. And you need support too. So for our final card for the reading this week, Taurus, we have the card Trust. It's a sister card in the original Tarot. The Rider Waite Tarot is the... Um, Temperance card. This is really just about relaxing, balancing, trusting that this is right for you. That even if there is something that's outstanding, the decorating needs to be done, something needs to be ordered, nothing's going to fall apart. Okay? With, with you pitter pattering at this, trust that the most important avenue for your health and well being this week is breathing, taking a nap relaxation, self-care of every kind, okay? And trust that that is your key to wellness this week, Taurus, as opposed to, say, um, finishing up a project that's driving you crazy or seems like it'll never end. You know what? It will. Do a little bit here and a little bit there. But number one thing this week, trust that you need peace and relaxation because you deserve this too. And it'll ultimately solve all all the problems anyway. Once you're relaxed and not tense and not feeling bad or that there's something outstanding all the time, you can generally relax into what you need to do. All right, Taurus, I hope that you all enjoyed the reading today. Thank you so much for liking and sharing the videos with other Taurians. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe for weekly readings. And thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have a beautiful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care for now.